This is Adam. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video tutorial series on how to do uh, Unity's, Unity's uh, multiplayer networking um, without Unity's networking, but with your own uh, server and web sockets. Um, so that way you can kind of customize your networking more. Uh, it's pretty much going to be the same stuff. Uh, there's going to be a couple small changes, which I'll show you. Uh, the library for Unity that you can use for WebSockets, one of them that I used is um, Socket.io for Unity. Uh, the backend server we're going to be using is Node.js, and then we're going to be using the Node.js library Socket.io as well. I'll show you how it works real quick. Uh, so I'll put in three players, I guess. So here's player one. You can see that he responds over there. And then uh, we have two enemies that randomly spawn. The uh, players are spawned at uh, spawn points specified in Unity, and we send them from the first client that joins, but uh, these random spawn points are random from their first client that joins as well. So let's get uh, let's get another player in there. Okay. So he joins the game and then so player player one can basically uh, you know let's have him destroy one of the enemies and then player two let's have him attack player one damage him a little bit and then damage the enemy a little bit I think that's good and then we can have a third player join and uh, pick up the same state of the game as what's going on currently with the current web socket. So he joins at the other spawn point over there, which is random. Well, it's, it's user specified, but whether they spawn at spawn point one or spawn point two is random. The enemies is totally random. Uh, so let's have him destroy player one so you can see that they uh, respawn with full health. One of the changes that I made was um, the player names at the top of the, the uh, UI canvas there. So you can see which players, um, which player that is. Uh, let's go ahead and exit so you can see that on the other clients the uh, game object gets destroyed whenever they exit. And in the next video uh, we'll get started so we'll get the uh, the uh, Unity project setup, uh, import the uh, the asset off the asset store, um, get the initial uh, Node.js server running as well. Um, thanks.